Naaalala niyo pa ba ang kwento ni Kabang the Hero Dog? December 2011 ang magbago ang buhay ng asong Pinoy o Aspin na si Kabang. Matapos niyang isugal ang buhay, wag lang mabundol ng motorsiklo ang dalawang bata sa Zamboanga City. Naisalba ang buhay ng dalawang bata na kamag-anak ng amo ni Kabang. Pero si Kabang, halos nasira ang muka. Sa GMA News, unang napanood ang kwento ng bayaning aso. Mula noon, sari-saring tulong na ang natatanggap ni Kabang at ng amo nito. At matapos ang sampung buwang gamutan kay Kabang, ililipad na ito ngayong araw papuntang Amerika. Sumikat si Kabang in her story of heroism taong 2012 hanggang 2013. And until now... Namumuhay siya ng masaya at malusog kasama ng kanyang mga tagapag-alaga sa Zamboanga. All thanks to donors from 18 countries who pulled together 22,000 US dollars. This was spent on Kabang surgery which then gave the hero dog a lease at a new life. Team Kabang, a group of doctors and pet lovers who took charge of Kabang's care after her accident, are now trying to pull off a Kabang the second through the adorable doggy from Bago Negros Occidental named Prince. Ang kaso ni Prince ay unang nai-report sa Facebook page ng Strategic Power for Animal Respondents o SPAR. Prince was reported sa SPAR page. Uh, initially, uh, nai-report siya na um, parang lost and found. But then, it turned out when one of my friends na I asked to rescue, um, para three months, uh, three years na pala siyang Um, na-rescue. But then, perhaps, naka, naka-infection yung mouth niya, and then, like, of course, neglect, and they were not able to bring brains to the vet, and it got worse. So, uh, the maggots has uh, infested, you know, his face, and that, of course, like, probably, like, it has been, uh, you know, parang one year na siguro hanggang nawala na yung, yung face niya. He doesn't have a snout anymore. Uh, what else? At, at least, na save yung ano ha, na save yung eyes niya. Kasi when he was rescued, there were maggots coming out from his eyes. So we thought that he would lose his eyes. I think this is the worst uh, case I've ever encountered or have been reported to my page. <laughs> he can eat very well. He licks. He just licks. Okay, soft food, not 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 the usual like uh, dog food, de ba? na na hard, yeah. soft na talaga. Because of course he cannot chew anymore. Basically, this is the this is the part two of uh, of the bag. Okay, only that it's a different uh, it's a different background because the bag was in the way, you know, and Prince is a lot more of being a neglected dog. According to Sherry, cases like princess are highly preventable. Pero kinakailangan pa rin ang ugnayan at koordinasyon sa pagitan ng lokal na gobyerno, animal welfare advocates, at mismong mga pet owners. I'm calling out for um, the government. Okay? I think it's ta- we, the, the, the animal advocates are increasing now. Okay? We are, our, our numbers are increasing. I think it's time to, like, uh, probably years out, like let's say the city vet would, um, um, you know, bridging the gap with the animal advocates and the city vet na mag-cooperate na lang, okay? Let's say the campaign, dapat may campaign na lang ng spay and neuter, and it's not just like, okay, once a month, schedule, it should be daily, because eventually, in the, you know, the long term is, imagine, kung every day ka mag-spay and neuter, eventually wala nang, wala nang uh, stray dogs, And then eventually, ma-banish na rin yung mga rabies na yan. Kasi nag, nag, may piha also have a law, anti-rabies uh, law na 948, na to protect the community from the rabies. But if we keep on spay and neuter the dogs, okay, eventually wala nang stray dogs. Apart from that, adopt those shop. Yun, ay, apart from the kapon, adopt those shop talaga. And uh, uh, please be, ang um, yung sa mga breeders as well, be responsible breeders as well. Na hindi yung, yung kung may pagbebentahan uh, kayo, make sure as well na those dogs are being adopted by people or people. Okay?
Okay. Kasi that, you know, dito sa Philippines, the sad fact, they think that okay, you have a big dog, you're mayaman. It doesn't go that way. Okay. People kept on breeding. And also, the yung number of irresponsible breeders and pet owners, parang nag increase din. And it turned out, we, you know, yan yung mga causes ng abuses. Okay. Ng strays. Even though he's lost a big part of his snout, Prince remains healthy overall and still maintains his happy disposition. I think the rescue dogs are more sensitive, are more like um, sweet because probably like you know they feel that okay from rags to riches <laughs> they could appreciate more, right? Because uh, but then like some I think okay the same thing with you know with the, I think with the humans that like, if someone would uh, help you of course you you know parang may a sense of gratitude ka sa, to someone, from someone to help you, or you know, or sa dog, someone who rescued you. For those who want to reach out and send help for Prince, kindly visit the SPAR page, or better yet, attend the Lion King film showing at Greenbelt 3 this coming Sunday, July 21. Para personal rin ninyong makilala at makalaro, hindi lang si Prince, kundi maging si Kabang, the hero dog.